When you think of modern luxury and downtown urban development, what city comes to mind? LA, New York, Chicago? How about Knoxville, Tennessee? <laughs> yeah, me neither. Hello, and welcome to Electric TV, the source for all things electrical construction since 2007. As always, I'm your host, Dominic Geritano. When we heard that the NECA IBEW team was involved in the construction of a new loft-style apartment complex in Knoxville, a city where they hadn't done a residential project in some 20 plus years, we just had to go. Because believing that only big cities build big things is like saying it never snows in the South. Perception isn't always reality. As luck would have it, the minute we landed in Knoxville, it started snowing. The correlation here is that believing that the Nika IBEW team doesn't do residential work in the South is as false as saying it never snows. This is actually, uh, in, in my five years with the IBEW, this is the first residential project that I've done before. Um, so it's a, it's a rare thing for us to do, but it's pretty exceptional that they're branching out here in Knoxville and starting to pick up some of that work to really increase our workload and, and give us more options. A lot of the general contractors on the residential side are used to non-union contractors which don't have the standards that we have as far as craftsmanship. Attention to detail that we put into everything that we do and the fact that we won't stop until it's absolutely perfect, that's something that they're not really used to. So much planning has to go into a building, uh, a powerhouse as you say, and and to see it done, it, it's, it's pretty neat. And to drive by 15 years later and say, I, you know, I was on site there for 20 months. You know, I was there and I saw it uh, snow one day. And I saw it 108 degrees up there one day. So it's, it's, it's different. It's, it's hard to explain to people who are not involved in construction, but I, I love it. This is a great opportunity for the IBW and the NECA partners to get together to uh, get back into this market, show what the IBW personnel can do, the manpower on these projects, show their expertise, uh, show off their training and their craftsmanship. Today I'm terminating a panel and checking continuity to make sure that we have a clean path of energy for our, all of our devices and fixtures. And as it turned out, the construction of the project was only a portion of their overall involvement. We were able to utilize pension fund monies here locally and work with the developer and work with this community, not only to bring the IBW manpower to the table, but let them know how serious we were about being involved in the community. Another included piece of the job is the inclusion of the Code of Excellence, a formal agreement between labor and the contractor to hold each other to the highest standard. I think it's important to try and get the best that you can whatever you do. And I think the Code of Excellence embodies that. The way I was brought up is you work hard, give your, give your boss, your contractor, a good day's work, he'll pay you a good wage. And, uh, and we're in a, a generation where a lot of people think they, they deserve a paycheck just by showing up. So I think it's a good class to teach to young people what is expected from them and it's also let you know what's expected of the contractor. And at the end of the day, it's about doing an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. And the customer appreciates the NECA IBEW team for that simple, common sense fact. If there's a problem, we get it fixed. We resolve the problem. They tell us what we need, if something, uh, what they want, and we try our best to get it home. And uh, works out. This is my first job with Canterbury. The people we have here are really good to work with. They've been real good team players. I love the way they come and if we've got a situation, instead of saying you've got a problem, they have a fix or an idea, something to start working the situation out immediately. I depend on them to look at the finer ends of it. The drawings go so far, but you've got to have capable and qualified craftsmen to carry, especially their craft food. That's all for this edition. Please check us out on all our communication platforms for more information and behind the scenes extras. I'm Dominic Giratano. We'll see you next time.